Hello friends and cowards, have y'all played Into the Breach yet? Because if not, you should hop into the eShop right now and pick it up because I think it's still half price right now and it is the best strategy game I've played in a really long time. So, I am totally obsessed with this game. I picked it up on Friday and I literally have not played anything else si um, like since because I'm just having so much fun just playing through this. And um, disclaimer, this is going to be a really long video explaining all the mechanics because I love doing that kind of thing. And this is my channel, I can do whatever I want. So, if you've never heard of Into the Breach, it is a turn-based strategy game by the makers of FTL, another fantastic strategy game I've put an insane amount of hours into, but instead of, like, spaceships, you're piloting giant robots like this guy. Um, sorry if, if it's difficult to hear me, I have my window open, and also I'm not sitting up in my normal recording area, I'm sitting at my desk. Uh, sorry. Um, but yeah, if you like giant robots, you're gonna love this game. So I've been meaning to pick this up forever, but I haven't gotten around to it till now because I'm the worst. And But it's like this game was made for me. Like, you guys know how I love Pacific Rim, fighting kaiju, whatnot. Um, and I love strategy games. Like, I've played through Sacred Stones and Shadow Dragon on hard and Awakening on Uni Lunatic Plus and Fates on Lunatic. God, I love Fire Emblem and I can't wait for the next one. Um, anyway. And everyone should know that I hate games that make you read. This game does not make you read. It's got a ton of story, a ton of lore, but barely any text. Like, everything you need to know is told from, like, descriptive text from the robots, or the characters, or the islands, or, like, tiny little chat bubbles, and that's it. It's amazing. Um, do you guys want a plot summary? So what's happening, basically, is you are trying to save the world from giant monsters called Vec. And did my Joy-Con disconnect? No, they're fine. Um, and every time you fail to save your timeline, you jump into a time breach to save your timeline from the past. It's simple, it's cool, it's fun, and I love it. Anyway, uh, we're not gonna jump into gameplay right away because I want to go through all the characters and all the robots. If you really don't want to see that, just skip to the second video. Maybe I'll just cut it right in the middle there, right before the gameplay, so you can just skip this video altogether if you don't care. But you should care, because it's amazing. Um, I don't know, I'll try to be quick. So, let's go through the time travelers. These are all the guys that are jumping in through breaches. There are nine human characters, and I haven't unlocked this guy yet. Uh, hopefully I'll unlock it maybe this run. But each character has a different ability. Um, and some are more useful than others with certain robots, but they're all really good in their own way, so... Yeah, they're all pretty good. Like, uh, this guy here, Ralph, he gives you more ex Okay, hold on. He gives you more experience. Um... Hold on, back up a little bit. Uh, interestingly, none of your progress persists other than unlocks and achievements. But, like, it's like a roguelike, basically. It's a... Permadeath, whatnot, I don't know. Not really. It's- it's complicated, <laughs> this game. Oops. Knocked into my microphone. Um, so your progress doesn't persist, but like the time travelers keep their experience points that they gain in battle as long as you keep playing that same character, which just gives the pilot better abilities. So you want to just... It's, it's beneficial to stick with one pilot until you level them up all the way, uh, which makes it easier and easier each time you start a new game to get through the rest of the islands. If you switch to a different character, I'm pretty sure all the experience resets? Okay, anyway. This is Camilla. She's uh, not affected by webbing and smoke. Which, um... Yeah, she just ignores hazards and stuff. Which I didn't expect to be as useful as it was, but when I played her, I found that she was shrugging off webbing constantly. Webbing is actually a problem. Because <laughs> uh, these, these bug guys, they just shoot webs at you and you can't move and it's so annoying. Uh, Go on to the next one. Lily. I love Lily. But, eh, I don't know. She gives you an extra three steps in the beginning, but I never really found this all that useful since you start right near where all the Vex spawn. And if you're really good at blocking, you'll never ever have to worry about that, like the spacing in the start of a fight. So, not super useful. Bethany. I love Bethany. She's one of my favorites. She starts with a shield, which lets you play really recklessly, and you guys know how I just love to rush in there and just destroy myself. Um,. But yeah, the first time I beat the game, I played as Bethany. She's great. Henry is also great because being able to get on the other side of a wall of Vec can just turn a whole game around. Like, uh, Vec can block you, you can block Vec. It really depends on a lot of stuff. 
Isaac! I haven't played him much. He's a great beginner pilot because you get a second redo, but that's really all he has, uh, basically. Um, like, one of the best things about this game, uh, like, over other strategy games, is that if you complete your turn and you're really unhappy with how things turned out, or if you made, what, one really bad move that you can't undo, you can reset the entire turn, and having a second one can really help you, help you out, um, play optimally. Oh, I keep knocking into my microphone! <laughs> I am never setting up my desk ever again, it's just that I'm so lazy and I don't want to move my table. Uh, Let's keep doing the humans. Uh, okay. Abe. He is probably my favorite? Yeah, he's my favorite. I've been playing with him for a while. He's got, like, damage reduction, which basically negates all, da um, all like, weak attacks that do one damage, so if you can get him to be targeted by all the weak enemies, then you can just get your other mechs to take out the real threats, and it's it's just great. Like, tiny little threats doesn't bother Abe. He's the coolest. He's the best. Uh, Chen. I love Chen. Um, she's, uh, I don't know. You get to move again, but being able to move isn't... Actually, no. That is good. That's pretty good. Um, being able to move after you attack can pretty much save your weaker mechs from death. Like, you can uh, switch out your pilot, so if you put her in a really weak mech that does a lot of damage, you could probably save her easily with her ability. Um, yeah, yeah. And then this last guy is on the fourth island, so I have to get through that to unlock him. God, I've been at this for six minutes now? Uh, oh, no. Um, hopefully, I'll unlock him. Let's go through the robots. Okay. Um... The robots have way stronger abilities than the humans, but they have to be powered up. So kind of like FTL, you have to choose where your resources like power go to. So if you're really confident you'll be able to survive a bit before you can actually use an ability, I'd recommend picking a robot. Like Archimedes uh, lets you move after an attack, which is similar to Chen's ability, but just like a little stronger. You get to go a little farther. Um, Ghana lets you deploy anywhere uh, as well as do damage to the Vec. I haven't actually used his ability before. Yeah, um, but yeah, when you land on them, you can do damage, which is insanely advantageous. I should probably get around to playing him. Uh, Silica's ability is insane. You can attack a second time instead of moving. If you pick a long-range mech or something that attacks an area, you could use this ability like every round and get your full values worth. Um, but this ability is also very expensive with a two power requirement. I don't know if I'll ever be able to survive that long because I'm the worst because I keep rushing in like an idiot uh, and Prospero who can fly which is really great because there's a lot of terrain hazards like water fire acid bottomless pits and with flying that's just no problem at all so yeah and also all these characters have very dis different personalities and like they have different commentary on the fights too so like that's really fun and I appreciate the time they put into making all these guys um, very different um, and now let's go through all the mechs, because I can do that. And reminder, I have had this game for less than three days, so I am not a professional. I don't know everything. <laughs> I might say something that's completely wrong. Um, but yeah, like FTL and all their ships, Into the Breach has a million different kinds of mechs that, well, not a million, this many. It's this many mechs. Um, mech teams, too, that you can pick, uh, pick from, or... And they each have their all, like, their own achievements, so... When you get an achievement, you get coins to purchase more teams when they're completed. So there's eight squads. Um, sorry, I'm just getting, I'm trying to organize my thoughts. Um, there's eight squads, as well as the options to pick your own custom squad and a random mech squad option, which I really like. So, um, like each pilot, each individual mech uh, has different abilities, and I will now go through every single one I have unlocked because these descriptions are not very detailed. <laughs> Um, to see the tax in detail, you have to like select it and then scroll all the way down to see them all like this. And they all have names, they're all differently named, I love it so much. But I'm trying to get through this quickly and I'm already at 10 minutes! Unbelievable, unbelievable. Never let me do anything, this is like the Pokemon video all over again. Um, yeah, okay, I'll just make the second video, <laughs> the actual fights, I am so sorry. <laughs> um, we are gonna start with the Rift Walkers. Hold on a second, someone's texting me. 
Okay, but yeah, um, also, I can give you some pilot synergy tips that I have found so far. So, the Riftwalkers is a good squad. It is the squad you start out with at the beginning of the game when you start a new game. So, of course, it's the most balanced and simple squad. This is probably my second favorite to use. The big guy punches the- oh, I can't select them individually. The big guy punches, the tank can, like, shoot a projectile clear across the map, and the spider-leggy looking guy, um, just blasts feck out of the way. The Rusting Hulks are my absolute favorite. I just bought them like an hour ago and they're so fun to play. The plane drops bombs that also deal, dam deal damage and it can fly, so it is amazing. Like, next custom game I play, I'm gonna do all planes because it's so much fun. Uh, the second guy there has a rocket launcher. It launches rockets. The last one is pretty much the same as the other last one, it just pushes Vec away. Um, Zenith Guard is my third favorite. The big guy has a laser beam which hits multiple Vec in a line, and like the closer you are to the Vec, the more damage it deals. It's great. Um, the tank throws, er, no, it doesn't, sorry. The tank, the tank knows takedown. The Pokemon move takedown. It rams into others and like takes damage. So this is where certain pilots have an advantage, like Bethany who starts with a shield. So like you can get a free attack that way. Um, but yeah, it just rammed into guys. It's great. You can be like clear across the map and it'll just go shoom and, and get him. I don't know why I'm doing hand motions. I didn't turn my camera on because it's dark out. Um, and that little floaty guy has, uh, gives people shields. So, yeah. It's a very shield based one. What is it? Pinnacle shield technology. Uh, wait. Oh, I got all the achievements for this one. When did that happen? Uh, Blitzkrieg. Uh, it's fun, but I'm not a huge fan. The big guy has lightning... Well, it has a lightning whip that hits all adjacent units in like a chain, including your own guys, which I always end up killing my guys with. Um, the tank has a hook shot that you can pull enemies with or pull yourself over to mountains and stuff with. It doesn't do damage though. I don't know if it's supposed to. I don't, I don't know. I haven't used it much. Um, as you can see, I have none of the achievements. And the spider leg guys... <gasps> Oh my god, you know what? The spider leg guy is actually one of my favorite robots because it throws a big rock. That's literally all it does. It throws a big rock at enemies, and if you don't think that is um, the sickest Jaeger concept, you are a fool and a coward. Like, you build this giant robot. You give him powerful legs and arms. Will it shoot a gun? No. Will it punch and kick aliens in the face? No. Will you give it a big ass sword? No. Throw big rock only. That is the true way. Um, I'm pointing at the screen, but you cannot see me. Okay, Steel Judica is awesome, but I haven't quite gotten the hang of it yet. The whole squad is like martial arts themed and like centered around moving Vec into positions where they'll hit other Vec. The big guy like suplexes enemies, like it throws an enemy behind it. Um, the missile launcher guy pushes Vec around and the last guy pulls Vec around. So it's all about just positioning and stuff. I don't really, I'm not super good at it, but I did get an achievement. <laughs> I need to play this game more, uh, I say, as I've been playing this game exclusively for the last few days. Um, and lastly, the one, the last one I've unlocked is Flame Behemoths. They set stuff on fire, and they are immune to fire, and that's it. I haven't used them much, but they seem fun. <laughs> and the last two, I have not yet unlocked. If you go into the achievements here, you can see their names. Frozen Titans, so I can't wait to see what ice-based attacks they have and hazardous mechs, which I assume is acid-based attacks. Um, I need to do these. Oh my god, I'm choking. Hold on. I've been talking for 10 minutes straight. 14 minutes straight. Oh, jeez. Sorry. Drinking directly into the microphone. Okay. You know what? I will cut it here because 15 minutes is a lot of time for no gameplay. <laughs> I am so sorry. You should buy this game. Goodbye.